Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Martin bringing you guys a video. Today I want to go over what is LISC, what it does, and why it's important. So to get into it, LISC is a blockchain application platform that is very similar to Ethereum, but at the same time, it has quite a few different use cases uh, than Ethereum, and I think it's going to be really exciting to see uh, what the two of them, like the road that two of them take and um, what the new possibilities are with LISC. So, uh, like I said, it's a competitor to Ethereum, and uh, currently they don't. You, the reason you don't hear about it too much is because they don't have a software development kit in place. Uh, they're coming out with that in the quarter four 2017. They already said on their roadmap it's going to be December. So a lot of fun stuff to look forward to with uh, Lisk coming soon. Uh, currently, uh, the last month or so, it has run from about two dollars all the way to about seven dollars. Uh, and that's in anticipation for its software development kit and rebranding coming soon. Uh, so when it rebrands, um, it won't be known as Lisk anymore, uh, the same way AntShares went to NEO. Uh, so really exciting stuff coming for Lisk. And um, now I want to get into the differences between Lisk and Ethereum. So the main difference between the two is that Lisk uses JavaScript and uh, Ethereum uses Solidity as its programming language and the fact that Lisk uses sidechains while Ethereum uses smart contracts. So um, why this is important is that uh, Lisk uses JavaScript, which is one of the most uh, widely used languages on the internet. Um, PayPal, Netflix, Uber, all these top sites uh, are running JavaScript because uh, it's just very easy to use. It's very versatile and um, you can do quite a bit of stuff uh, on Lisk. So it's really more um, consumer applications and fun, I guess, applications of blockchain. So that, in my opinion, is going to be what, set this, what sets Lisk apart from Ethereum and also the use of sidechains. So uh, Lisk will use, uh, it, through its software development kit, it will allow developers to hop right in and customize their own blockchain. It won't be built into Lisk the same way Ethereum does. So what that means for you is that uh, instead of having all of your ERC20 tokens and Ethereum transactions uh, be on the same chain, uh, Lisk is gonna be completely, set, uh, all the applications built on Lisk, I should say, uh, are gonna be their own separate blockchain, its own separate token. And um, so quite a few different um, customizable customizable things you can do uh, with Lisk rather than Ethereum. And um, this is also a good um, security measure by Lisk uh, in terms of how Ethereum handles network uh, capabilities. Um, you are, uh, it's, it's, it happens where if Ethereum's running a huge ICO or there's a lot of ICOs going on, um, it gets the network all congested and Ethereum con uh, Ethereum transactions can take um, quite a bit longer while something like that is going on. So uh, Lisk is go not going to have that problem. It's going to allow developers to really just customize their own blockchain and uh, create all new use cases for blockchain. And um, some of the use cases for this, for example, might be, um, they did a very good job of explaining this in one of their um, uh, this is actually called what is Lisk. So, um, with JavaScript, it's going to allow, uh, for example, social networks, messengers, games, financial applications, prediction markets, exchanges, storage platforms. So, in a way, Lisk could even be competing with Sia Coin and Storage. So, there's quite a few uh, new applications for. Uh, blockchain I think I've said that like 10 times already now so I apologize if I'm a broken record at this point but I really feel like social networks and games are going to be uh, really important for this if we can get some good developers that can come up with uh, with like a cool social network idea on the blockchain or games on the blockchain I think that list could be a huge success so that's gonna be really interesting to see. Uh, the fact that we are, uh, the fact that Lisk uses JavaScript is huge because there's so many more JavaScript developers than Solidity developers. So uh, it's really not gonna have any entry barriers for programmers and developers 
uh, that want to get into developing on the blockchain. So that's that's huge in my opinion. Uh, also, they uh, have plenty of other upcoming events. The fact that they are rebranding uh, is a good sign. And uh, this this project has been in development for a few years now. Like, like this is a serious project. They've been out and co doing conferences and stuff like that, uh, marketing themselves. And so that's all very good signs. Uh, and then, like I said, in December is when they change I APIs. Uh, that's when they have the software development kit. Uh, all these new things coming out that are going to enable uh, the possibility of developing on the on LISC and creating side chains. So uh, really, really interesting uh, stuff that we can do with that. And, um, you know, I think that, like I said, the social networks and games aspect is going to be very, very cool um, for blockchain. Uh, really new creative things we can do with JavaScript. Uh, the team is also really nice. Uh, they have hired quite a few developers for Lisk, uh, and they, so the central team is really nice as well. Um, they're great with their community. Uh, I would definitely recommend checking them out on all their social networks. Um, and uh, one cool thing I saw about them too is that um, they're going out to all these conferences, uh, marketing themselves on the enterprise side of things, and at the same time, they're not just going out and pumping the coin. They're mark they're using their funds uh, very, very well. They're they're managing their funds, I should say, um, in a great way. So they're not they're not going out to affect the uh, LISC market price. They're doing all the work and gonna let that speak for itself. So that's awesome to see. So yeah, in a way, LISC is gonna be the WordPress of the blockchain. So it's gonna be really really cool that new developers can come right in plug and play with Lisk um, they can make their own blockchain proof of work proof of stake um, whatever and that's going to be completely separate not built into the Lisk blockchain so uh, really really interesting stuff from Lisk uh, I think that there's you're going to start hearing about it a lot more uh, as all of these applications start to come out uh, and that will definitely be in 2018 uh, so yeah, guys, that's all I have for today. Uh, this shouldn't be considered financial advice. This is just what I found about Lisk, and all thoughts shared are my own. So if you did enjoy, please leave a like and comment on the video. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, it helps me out a ton. And feel free to leave your own favorite cryptocurrency down in the comments. I'd love to go review it and maybe uh, make a video on it. And also, if you do enjoy these videos, feel free to subscribe. Uh, plenty more of these coming out in the near future. And for now, hope you guys enjoyed and hope you have a great night. Peace.